Custom views can be a great help. So today we're going to go over custom views for lists and libraries. So this is our contracts document library. So we have our view all documents and we can go ahead and modify the view or we can create a view. So if we modify the view, we have the option to choose which columns show up in that document library. So let's say I want uh, created and created by to show up. So I would just click those. Then I can sort by specific column. So right now it's it's sorted by name. I can choose which way it sorts by descending order or ascending order. And then we can sort by a second column. Uh, so with sort by name first or let's say title. Then we have filter. We can only show items. And we can set a condition to show only certain items that equal to the condition that we've set up. And I'll be showing that to you later. So there's a lot of options that you can choose to customize your views. We have all these options. We're just going to press OK. And this is our new view. So you can see all of them are added. And we're going to go in and create a new view. So we have option to create standard view. We can create a calendar view. Um, so it'll show daily, weekly, uh, monthly calendar, and all the events and uh, items in that calendar by days. We have data sheet view where it'll show you in a spreadsheet like manner. Uh, Gantt view, so if you work with project management, then you know what um, how easy or accessible Gantt view can be. Then we can actually create a custom view using SharePoint Designer. So we're going to actually create a calendar view. Now we need to create a view name. So I'm just going to, I guess I'm like a generic and uh, put in uh, schedule. Uh, we can make it default or um, we can go in and uh, begin with created and with modified. Choose uh, calendar columns. You have to fill these in. I'm going to show you uh, what happens when you don't fill out what's required. Then we can do default scope, day, week, or month, uh, filter, mobile, press OK. And it tells me that you must select all the columns for the col uh, calendar view. So I got to fill all that in. So I'm just going to press OK, and then I'm just going to randomly choose uh, the columns. OK, check two, check two, and press OK. And this is my new view, my calendar view. So it'll show me my items based off specific dates that I have set up. So you want to make sure that you create all the columns that you need for the document library in order for this to work correctly. And then um, we have our months, our dates, and then we also have on the side all our lists and libraries that we can go ahead and uh, choose from. So this is a calendar view. And um, you can see it's not that hard to create a uh, custom view based off what you need or what your business requirement is for that list or library. OK, let's go over to a list and create a custom view. We'll go to leads. This is our list for the specific site that we created. And here we're going to create a custom view for us to use in the future. So we'll go to, you can also go up to the top and click on list where you have all these options. And you can choose to create a view from here. Click create view. You can modify views, create a column, um, modify view, modify view in SharePoint uh, Designer. Uh, so you can you have the option of uh, using uh, this quick access here, but we're gonna go in and create a view for um, this title director and Bob. Okay, so create view, click create view. Then we're gonna choose standard view. Now we can choose the columns and everything else is similar to what we went over before in the document library. My name is going to be Bob for this custom view. And what I want to do is I want to show only specific items. So I'm going to choose show only items uh, when the following is true. So I'm going to choose first name. So I'm going to filter by first name is equal to Bob. So I only want Bob to show up. But I want to make sure that it's the Bob that I want. So the Bob that I want is the director. So title is equal to director. And I'm going to skip everything else and click OK. 
And what it'll essentially do is it'll create a view where only Bob will show up. Bob the director will show up. So all items with Bob the director uh, will only show up. So if I have a lot of um, business with Bob, then I can create this view where I can access it easily and only get all the items I need for Bob the director. Custom views just make it easier for you to aggregate data or items based off uh, specific columns or uh, what you're looking for. For example, the Bob the director custom view that I made. And then you can also create custom views to look at data in a different way if you wanted it to look at uh, data using a Gantt chart or a um, Excel sheet like view, then you can also do that. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions or requests, uh, comment below and let me know and I can go over that for you if you like. Uh, if you enjoyed the video again, please don't forget to subscribe and like the video and I'll see you guys in the next one.